So friends, let's start with today's chutney. Now here I've heated up a pan and now I'm going to add one teaspoon of oil. Let the oil heat up. Once the oil is heat, nice and heated up, I'm going to add one cup of raw peanuts. Now fry the peanuts well till you get the aroma of the peanuts and even the peel of the peanuts turns to a little darker brown color. So this should take you about a minute. Now we're going to add about 7 to 8 fresh curry leaves. Now fry the curry leaves also. Next, I'm going to add three green chilies that I've just cut up into halves. Now, I generally use the light green chilies because they're not very, very spicy. The dark green chilies are spicy. So if you're using the dark green chilies, then just use about one or two small chilies. But with the lighter green chilies, you can use three. Just cut them up into half. Now, fry the chilies well till you get this whitish tinge on the peel of the chilies. Now I'm going to add 2 tablespoons of chana dal. Fry this also very well. All of the ingredients need to be really fried nicely on a low to medium flame. Now this chutney is so delicious and uh, you know it goes so well with dosas, idlis, puri bhaji, with anything at all. Now next I'm going to add one teaspoon of tamarind. Fry all of it again, you know well till you get the aroma of all the ingredients for at least a minute. It's important to fry all of the ingredients for a minute. Now after a minute just turn off the heat and let all the ingredients cool completely for at least another 10 to 15 minutes. Now once all the ingredients have cooled completely, we are going to transfer it to a mixer jar. Also the shelf life of this chutney is quite long. If you, you know, refrigerate it in an airtight container, you can last for almost a week. Now I am going to add one cup of freshly grated coconut. Next, I'm going to add half a cup of coriander leaves. I'm going to add salt to taste. And I'm going to add one cup of water, but a little bit at a time. This is only half a cup. So one cup, I used one cup completely. And I'm going to grind it to this kind of a thick but, you know, liquidy paste. Now transfer this paste to a bowl. Because now we're going to temper it or give it a tadka or a fodni. So I've taken my small pan or my cuddler as you call it, which is used for tempering. Heat one teaspoon of oil in it. Let the oil get nice and hot. Now once the oil is nice and hot, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of mustard seeds, which is rye or mohri. Let the mustard seeds start to splutter. Once they start to splatter, I'm going to add some dried red chilies. So I've just taken three red chilies and I've just broken them up, dried red chilies. And I'm going to add about five to six fresh curry leaves. Now fry all of this tempering really well. See that the chilies are nicely fried, the curry leaves are nicely fried. So this tempering also adds a lovely flavor to this chutney. And now I'm just going to add the tempering to this paste or the chutney. So you can see how bubbling hot the, the tempering is and this will also kind of you know flavor and cook the chutney a little bit. Now mix the fodni or the tempering well into the chutney. And that's it guys, your beautiful chutney is all ready. It really tastes amazing, you've got to try it out. And on that, on that day I made some oats idli. I'll leave a link to this recipe, it's very healthy and it's super delicious. It's a big hit at my place and it gets ready also pretty quickly. So I just had some lovely oats idli which are so light and refreshing for a nice morning breakfast and uh, loads and loads of chutney 
and friends you must try out the oats idli also as well as this chutney i will leave the link to both to the oats idli recipe you can try it out so guys i'll hope you like this video and i'll catch you soon in my next video take care guys this is akshita signing off bye today's recipe as well as today's video and if you would like to see more videos like this then don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up also by, by clicking the thumbs up icon also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and become a part of Akshita's recipes once you have subscribed there is a small little bell icon that will pop up so just click on that that way whenever I put up a new recipe or a new video you get a message for the same so on that note, I'll say bye and I'll catch you in my next video sooner than you think. This is Akshita saying bye, take care, stay healthy, stay fit, be kind and loving to one another. So till we meet again, bye.